a week with WordPress. Okay, nice. So there are some people that are not working every every day with uh, with WordPress. I'm a full entrepreneur and full person dedicated to WordPress. I live practically based on this uh, platform because in 2009. I decided to invest in, uh, in WordPress. So, as an entrepreneur, I had to choose between my, uh, uh, my businesses and I chose the WordPress. In that period of time, nobody had an idea what will, will become uh, this platform and uh, how it will be evolved. I'm sorry if my English is not so good at this hour. I will take a, a water and can we keep the people in the more pedal? Just a second. So you can you can read, read my about me or my history here. My first encounter was in 2006. In 2011, I started using uh, WordPress as a CMS, discover his true power <laughs> because I, I started developing it uh, like a clone of Yelp on top of WordPress. It was the craziest idea ever because it was really, really hard in that period to do something like this. Uh, but we, we did it. And currently, we provide services for projects that are built with, with WordPress. We provide maintenance and, and hosting for, for projects that are in, uh, in WordPress. So I will start right, right now, just, just a second. Ah, that's it. And now I will take my phone and, and start the, the magic app, the pointer app for, for the phone. So everything starts with uh, why uh, do we need the uh, speed? This presentation will be an uh, easy presentation and an easy explanation about, uh, about page speed and uh, uh, optimization of, of uh, WordPress. So a faster site equals more traffic, equals for many, many people, more <laughs> sales. Because the first thing will we'll, we'll, come to you as a developer or as an IT person who come to IT, the marketing department and they want more sales. This is why the entrepreneurs pay, pay, pay those guys. So how fast should, the, should your website load? Statistically, the average load time is between 4 and 5 seconds. That's kind of bad because if you have uh, half a second to two seconds, that's, that's great. If you do that, Google will, will rank, rank you up. So how do you measure your, your page speed? How do, you, how do we measure our websites? We use tools like page speed tests, uh, GT metrics, or kingdom tools. But here you, you, you have to know that it depends on the server that you're doing the test. Because in my situation, I have physical servers here in Bucharest, but I can test them only here. Because only here, it's, it's, a, it's a partner that, that can do the, the testing. Uh, 
So this is a, a crucial information that many, many guys are not giving away because uh, most of the time the, the pace speed is measured with Pinto and if you have in front of you a salesperson uh, they will say to you your site lows horrible or lows between 5 and 10 seconds why? because they are putting here uh, you, can, you can do this with your customers but I'm not saying that you have to do this it's not good for, for business uh, because you can put here a server from I don't know, California let's say and you will have a bad speed, uh, bad, uh, bad uh, base speed for, for that client. So you will send an e uh, email with the link and say, hey, your hosting is terrible, buy from us. That's, that's the, the cheapest way you can, you can have a client. So the first thing, in my opinion, in this presentation starts with the DNS. Starts from, uh, from the point of access to your, to your uh, site. So here I recommend using Cloudflare, it's fast, powerful, it's free, and if you don't heard about you if you didn't heard about Cloudflare until now, uh, as I might say I was at the beginning the first year in Romania that started using Cloudflare and implemented to, to all our clients, become a, become their partner and believe me, this is why I have uh, grow so much. This is why, because they are they are doing very 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 much of uh, of development. They are changing the world. The next one I will recommend is NS1. I can say that Playboy uses it. I did work with them. And they are using NS1. They are really really stable and they are really really fast. And the new guy. This is the updated version because this presentation was at WordCamp 2000. And 16. And the new, the new guy that we are testing right now, besides Cloudflare, we are testing Bunny, 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 Bunny NS. Uh, it, it's in sometimes it's faster than uh, than Cloudflare and even faster than NS1. So I, I will do a recommendation for them. The second part. But the second thing, the second step, it's upgrade, guys. And you heard it a lot of times. Every time, every every time you are looking for optimization, everybody will recommend this. So you have to turn off your cache. You have to update the plugins. You have to update the, the theme or the framework. And last, you have to update the, the WordPress and reactivate your cache. It's that simple. Simple, right? You just have to do it. And from from the last version of WordPress 5.2.1, you will not get a, a, a white screen of death. Or if you get it, the 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 good part, you you will get it like I don't know. Let's say maximum of, of five minutes if you have a caching uh, caching system there. That was not easy. So. The second one is uh, using images and video. So re uh, resize and compress them. <laughs> this is the good one. The, 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 the good one. Uh, Ninety-nine percent of the casing your hosting doesn't doesn't uh, do this. So they will not do the optimization and, and uh, the resizing of the images. Let's say you have an e-commerce business, so you have like, I don't know, 100 plus K images, and you have to resize them. You can use these tools. The first one is the best. It's a local one. Here build it, it's, it's here in this room. And uh, the guys from, from this company, I'm so, so... Oh, in 2016, I'm, I was really, really pissed off that I didn't know about them, but there's test them. <laughs> and for videos, you have to replace the embedded videos with preview images. This is what I'm what I'm uh, recommending. So 
you can use uh, WP YouTube uh, late or, or BG uh, lazy load. So it would, it will do practically uh, a lazy load, and it will take a, a snapshot from the from the YouTube and put it on on the site uh, just like it was uh, was the image. So the the loading time will be really really fast. Uh, I did this. For, for two clients of mine, and one of them, uh, they are a publishing uh, uh, company, so they have a magazine here in Romania, and they use they use an article in in the in the site with I don't know, let's say 25 videos. <coughs> so if you want to load 25 videos for Vimeo or YouTube, that that's horrible. You will have a bad page speed. The second one, in my opinion, the, the, the one that I'm recommending to, to marketing people, guys, use fewer <laughs> social buttons. Uh, because they are making a lot of requests. They are, they are practically consuming the, the, the um, bandwidth. What? The bandwidth. The bandwidth, yeah, but not only the bandwidth. You can imagine. They are, they are even uh, loading up some uh, <laughs> some servers uh, site. So what I'm recommending here use like two or four share buttons. Focus on the network networks that matter to you <coughs> and uh, your content. What I mean by this is if you are making content for Instagram. Only use Instagram and Facebook maximally. This is what I'm saying. Not use LinkedIn, uh, Pinterest, and the other ones. For for this situation, I, I recommend free free solutions, free free models, uh, plugins that that uh, will do the job very very good. Uh, and the last one, believe me, is really fast. If you want to test it or buy it. it does the job really, really good. Avoid using Facebook slide books. It's dead. Let it go. Just let it go. Don't use the light books, the old light books, because it's, it's not supported anymore from from the from Facebook, and it it will load every every picture from every guy that, that did. I don't know. It loads like ten pictures, or I don't know. 20 pictures of those people that are giving the likes for that page. It has a lot of requests. Uh, use uh, plugins. Quantity versus quality. This is, this is the one that I, I, I started believing so hard in it that in, in our situation, the clients, some clients, some, some some big clients, are limited to the number to the number of plugins, limited to use the plugins, and this is why because you have to have a good balance between the plugins, and you have to avoid using like uh, I don't know, let's say three or four uh, security plugin plugins just because the site get uh, got hacked. Yeah, you can use it uh, for some time, but you will have problems. So every three or six months, you have to, to view the plugins, if they are available, if they are supported, and if they are compatibility with, uh, with, your, with your team and uh, WordPress, and disable. Sorry. I told you I'm not the best speaker tonight. I had a rough day. So, basically, don't use it anymore, or not support it anymore, or poorly coded. There are so many plugins that are poorly coded, so you have to avoid them. You have to search for them, you have to see their, their reviews, you have to, to see the project that are, that are using those, uh, those uh, plugins. Sorry, sorry for that. Uh, yeah, some new plugins will work better and they will be faster, but the new ones have to 
<laughs> you have to recheck them every every time to see that uh, they are supported or not. So it's the same job. In the next one, leverage browsing caching. This this is the the, the, the recommendation of Google that are making till now. If you if you go on Google, I don't know. Oh, Recommendation. This is the one that are rec is recommended till now. So, if it started, they started doing this um, in the the last versions of, of Chrome, and you know, on the version of the, the phone, sorry, on the version of the phone, they are really really aggressive with the leverage prosecution. Just simple edit the file. I said here, and another one was a model, but I I. I deleted that part. Uh, in my opinion, don't. If you are using a caching model and we are we are plugging, and uh, we will go to that part, uh, it does leverage browsing caching for you. But don't use another plugin for that. Just simple edit uh, a file if you don't use a, a caching plugin. So you can edit. A uh, simple file for Apache it looks like this. You will have the presentation, but here you, you can. But you have to, to Google it and adapt it for for your needs. And this is a little advanced uh, one because this is the the Nginx uh, uh, little configuration. It's a little bit advanced, so I will go ahead and and uh, recommend some plugins for caching. Uh, this is a small bonus bonus part. Combine uh, uh, GS with uh, CSS and uh, compress uh, HTML. Uh, you can use a plugin for this, you can use uh, optimize and you can clean uh, and optimize your database every time with uh, WP optimize. It's a good <coughs> one. Maybe it's not the best solution, but for an easy solution, <coughs> this is the way to go. Because many, many times, if you have a site with lots and lots of comments or lots and lots of uh, user that, users that are using WooCommerce, and every time they are putting something in the in the cart, or they are uh, basically viewing viewing the site and uh, doing some. Uh, some others, like three to six months, you have to clean the database. It's in, in many, many times, the database <laughs> will, will crash. If, if it doesn't crash in the first year, in three years, it will die. It, 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 if you have a big client, it will crash in two months. So, the power of many here means that you can use Content Delivery Network, or CDN. Uh, okay, how many of you know what the CDN is? Okay, so, uh, okay, okay. so, <coughs> so basically if you know what a CDN is, it's simple. I still recommend Photon from Jetpack only just because it's free. This is why I still recommend it. But, if you install Jetpack, come on, you have to disable all the other uh, functions and uh, features of, uh, of Jetpack. Don't use them. Because you will see many times that you are using other plugins for, uh, for those uh, options. And you yeah. don't want that. The second one is Cloudflare that I, I mentioned as uh, DNS, but I will mention here again because I believe you know already that uh, Cloudflare is a free CDN, uh, but it's good for only for we uh, small uh, websites. In our environment, we disable all the using the API f for Cloudflare. We are uh, disabling all their features and using it only for for DNS. And the other one is the Max DNS is the popular one, and the new one. It's uh, by DNS. CDN. Uh, CDN, sorry. Uh, I will crash. Uh, the database. 
power and uh, lighting effects to see the end. This is how they are marketing the, the, the new guy. But uh, we are testing, it, testing this and uh, for some images uh, they are not so good. You have to um, compress them and afterwards uh, go with, uh, with this image. So, I will uh, go ahead and the final one it's caching is king. Okay? So, so, so these are, are, the, are the solutions. You have some plugins. Caching is king. Why caching is king? Can, can everybody say to me what, why caching is king? Huh? Can, can? You, uh, many times, the part of uh, generating the web page takes a lot of time, especially if you have many plugins, and uh, then caching the page to serve it faster from a cache, it will save you that time. It could save one, two seconds sometimes. Yeah. How, how many of you understand the idea of, of the cache? Okay, so... Ah. <laughs> okay. Just, this is... Give us a short description for... Yeah, in my opinion, the, the, the easy, the easy uh, vision of caching is like you have a restaurant, restaurant and you have uh, the, the, the cooking guy in the kitchen, yeah, the chef, the master chef, and every time a person comes, the master chef has to, to bring uh, uh, a soup to the client, right? So every, every time it has to make that soup. So if you freeze that soup and put it in the, in the freezer, every time a client will come, the cook, the master chef only takes that, uh, that uh, freeze version of, of the soup, will heat it up and serve it. In my opinion, this is what caching means. And this is what it means. You will serve the last version of the soup to your visitors. If your visitors want uh, extra salt and pepper, then you know the idea, you get the idea, you can, uh, you, you, you have to order to your uh, chef uh, the, the new one. Basically, you start from, from scratch. But, when you don't use plugins, the cache is king. In my opinion, I say this because the caching must be, must be done this way. When the caching is done on the server. So you have... Ah, just... So, you have here, because I didn't say, you already know them. If you, know, if you uh, use cache, you already know super cache. You already know WP Rocket, it's not something new for you guys. And uh, WP Fast Cache. Uh, here, it has a free version, but I recommend the premium one. Uh, we, are, we are having many, many clients uh, that come to us and request the, the, the premium one. We started using it in two big uh, projects, and this is this is the one to go uh, this year. If you want to switch your your caching plugin, uh, I recommend switching to to fast cache. But do the testing because do the testing. What I mean about do the testing, if the if the uh, if they have uh, like uh, ads on mobile, uh, the caching is really really aggressive there. So, in my opinion, here you have to disable the, the caching on the, on the mobile or in the premium version, um, you can limit some things there. And on the server side... I'm sure on the wallet. Yes. Uh, this is a site. Uh -huh. And with the cache, it has 5 seconds of charging. Yes. With the cache... Excuse me. Cache activat are 4 secunde. 
So the question is, I have a site with no caching, right? Yes. And it loads like five seconds. Five, yeah. It loads in five seconds. Okay. Uh, between five seconds and? And uh, with uh, caching? Yeah, uh, caching. In, yeah. Uh, four seconds. In four seconds. Let, just to... We will take the... Okay, okay, okay. I will answer that, but I will, I will, uh, I will take some questions right now because I have only two ideas left and I already been so boring for you and I have a boring, boring voice right now. I don't know, this is not me. You're doing great. So, so no, usually this is not me. I, I do some events here in Bucharest and this, believe me, it's not me. Uh, w, uh, PHP 7, everybody will recommend it, everybody will say, talk to your hosting company and update, 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 update. Do the update, but <laughs> what what happens if if the the custom development is, was done in version like 5.5 or 5.6? Yeah, it, you you cannot say every time update uh, my PHP without testing. So you have to you have to have a. Um, you have to have a testing environment and uh, do the testing. So another one is varnish. How many of you work or, or uh, uh, do developing in varnish? Have you heard about varnish? Yes. Okay. Okay. For the 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 whole uh, other guys here. Uh, I started with Varnish, okay, so WP Hosting started with Varnish, it still has some servers with Varnish, and in my opinion, Varnish, varnish combined with, with Apache is not the, the, the fastest uh, solution, but, but in, in, a, in a developing in the, uh, an environment that is in production every, every day, this is the way I, I still recommend. We are using Nginx right now for 50% of our clients. We are using PHP 7 and uh, OpenCache. And with that, without this, because in many presentations, even here, we had a, a good, good, good person from, uh, from a company. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't remember the, the company's speed speed speedy so it's the time yeah b byte b byte b byte and what i didn't like is that he didn't include this in, in his uh, recommendations but but they are using it because i did, did talk with them and saw that, that uh, they are using it and without this the php believe me it's, it's zero you have to have an optimization there, or a caching solution there. And the last one is Redis. Uh, how many of you are using or? Okay, super. That's the way to go. Okay, so if you, if you have big databases or work with, with uh, WooCommerce, this is the way to go. If, if you have servers with Redis, in my opinion, is the best one. Better than Redcache. So, at the... No, this is the whole picture. Yeah! So, guys, <coughs> at the end, choose a dedicated WordPress hosting that does all of this and more. Come on, it's, it's not that, that hard. You can, you can find and uh, uh, willing to, to, to pay for, for such, uh, such services. Not only optimization, not only the, the caching solution or the hosting solution. You have to have some people to work besides you. If you are a developer or if you are an agency, you cannot imagine how can you grow your, your, your business? I have like three friends that started here in Bucharest from scratch, from zero. And I'm not saying that they, they did start with me. 
they are now they are working only with WP hosting. But I'm saying that they did choose to do the externalization part of the maintenance. And in my opinion, every every agency and every freelancer has to have somebody to to work with, to take the load of some some processes. So this was the easy WordPress optimization. I hope to, to bring a little uh, smile on your faces. Yeah, this is the fake smile. Because you are only <coughs> developers, you are working with WordPress every, every day. But I didn't have the time to come here with the presentation for security, but I will, uh, I will say right now, I'm working on that presentation for the security part. And uh, that's the, the really interesting, interesting one. So I will continue right now for <coughs> questions from you. Thank you very, very, very much for your attention.